Well, you can see Pi's uh, busy working away. She's building a fire and for a very specific um, task. I'll go into that in a minute. Before I kick this off, I want to say a massive thank you to uh, Brian um, for sending us an email with a link to uh, another vlog um, regarding the building of a maggot farm. Now, I actually thought about this uh, a couple of weeks ago, and uh, basically what I was thinking, if we could sort of, um, you know, farm some maggots, it would cut down on the fish food, but uh, really didn't have a clue how I was going to go about it. But uh, Brian sent me this link uh, to uh, Life in Thailand. Now, I'm actually a subscriber to Life in Thailand, and if you've not checked out his vlog, I'd suggest you do. It's a really, really good vlog he's got going there. I'll leave the link in the description below. So thank you to uh, Brian, and thank you to Life in Thailand for showing us how to make a maggot farm. And this is what Pi's doing right now. She's just uh, making a fire so we can get some metal and make some holes in some bins. The principle of it is, um, very very easy basically what we're going to do we're going to cut um, a hole all around here then we'll take this smaller bin drill some holes in in the bottom sides about here just here yeah, all the way around and then put some um, smelly old food in there like rotting fish and stuff like that we'll put some holes um, around here as well yeah the flies will go in lay the eggs and then the maggots will crawl all the way down to the bottom there and fall out into this bin that we'll put some uh, dry sort of sawdust or um, rice husks in to keep them dry. And then uh, we should get some maggots. It is, I think, a brilliant but very simple idea. It's, it's very, very cool. So uh, yeah, we'll be able to give our fish some maggots as well. So uh, yeah, it'll cut down the cost on the food. It depends on how many we can generate, of course. But if we can generate enough, then uh, we'll feed them to the chickens as well, because they'll like them. So yeah, very cool, isn't it? We don't have a drill, so Pi's uh, improvising here. She's basically heated up this metal rod, and as you can see, it's doing the job. It'll take a while, but um, yeah, it'll do the job. Once again, thanks, Brian, for the email and the link uh, to uh, Life in Thailand for that particular video. And Life in Thailand, thank you for the video. Absolutely fantastic. It's, uh, yeah, it will solve a, a problem that I was having. Brilliant stuff. Cheers. Right, I'm going to get on give Pi a hand, and then we'll get back to you once it's finished, and I'll show you the finished article. Oh, very cool, isn't it? <laughs> well, guys, that took about 15 minutes, and uh, here's the end result. So we've got the, uh, the main bucket at the bottom, with a hole in the top, and the bucket sits in top of that. We've got holes in the bottom of the um, black bucket, and we've got holes in the top. So we'll put some food um, in this black bucket. The flies will then go into the holes, lay the eggs, we get maggots, the maggots go through um, the black bucket into the green bucket and bang you've got loads of maggots. Are you happy with that? <laughs> Good isn't it? Yeah. Good little idea. Good idea though. Yeah. Mm. I think that's just a fantastic idea. Thanks guys, Brian and uh, Life in Thailand for the video. Brilliant. It uh, solves a problem and a very very easy fix as well. So brilliant. Thank you. Take to the farm now. Now obviously this is going to stink a bit. So uh, <laughs> we'll put it on the farm, it won't be a problem. We'll put it right next to the uh, what will be the new cow shed. So uh, yeah, there should be plenty of flies around there and hopefully plenty of maggots to feed the fish. Fabulous. <laughs> Well, as you can see, it's a hive of activity here. Dad's just trimming off some old grass and Pi's over there sorting out some bamboo. We've dug a pit and we're gonna burn a lot of stuff in there and uh, doing a lot of burning there as well. So what's happening, you might ask? Well, a couple of tasks for today. One, clean up uh, the old shack. All the area around it needs cleaning up so we can easily dismantle it. And the second task is going to be tackling where the cow's going to go. 
yeah, the cow's on again. As I said yesterday, um, the government officials basically turned around and said to Dad, uh, you're definitely going to get them. Uh, we're still not sure when. Um, this is the thing here, you know, sometimes it can be really, really frustrating, but it's no good getting all angsty over it. It is what it is, and uh, you just have to deal with it. But uh, this area in here is where Dad's going to keep the cow. And there could be two of them. So it means we've got to take off the platform so they've got somewhere to stand, and obviously the roof will give them shelter. Cool, though, isn't it? Dad actually built this a long, long time ago. It'll definitely do the job, and hopefully we'll get those cows before too long. It is sweltering out here now, though. Absolutely roasting. Lovely, though, isn't it? <laughs> I'd rather it was like this than freezing cold any day of the week. As I said the other day about the rainy season, this is what it's like. You know, you'll get uh, a couple of days of rain, even three, four days of constant rain, and then all of a sudden the sun will come out and it'll just burn everything off, but it makes it very, very humid. All the ducks are out on the uh, farmer's field, but that's okay. Nothing growing there at the moment. That's an update of what's happening. Check it out, there's more to come. <laughs> Well, it's uh, about quarter past one in the afternoon now. As you can see, we built a huge bonfire there, but we've got to let that dry out. A lot of it consists of banana trees, which is, of course, full of water. So let that dry out, and then we'll burn that lot. We've had a good clean-up in here as well. So it's cleared a lot of the area. That'll make it easier for um, Kay when he comes and does the uh, chain-link fencing. Got a lovely bunch of bananas growing up there, though. How nice is that? As you can see, we've stacked a huge amount of wood at the uh, side of the shack. That's gonna be all firewood they'll use for cooking. Under the shack is all nice and clear now. So that's all been cleaned out, ready for the move. And then all around the pond, We've give it uh, a good old clean up as well. It does look so much better. Yeah, it just looks a lot tidier, doesn't it? The big thing today that Dad wanted to do was to um, sort out the cow shed. Uh, he also fixed the bench as well, put a, a new piece of wood on. How nice is that? Lovely, isn't it? So coming round at the top, where the cows were going to be kept. Now I say cows, because we might end up with two. We're not quite sure. We've had a huge bonfire going on here. We managed to finally get that big old branch that snapped off in the storm out of the pond, along with a load of other debris. As you can see, it was all uh, wood in here, and that's now all been cleaned up and burnt, it's all gone. And the cow shed, of course, now is, doesn't have any of the uh, platform. That's all been taken away and cleaned up underneath. So yeah, it's pretty much ready for the cow. Just a bit more tidying up to do. There's Pi. She's been at it all day, bless her. You okay there, honey? Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. Tired, yeah. Hot though, isn't it? It is really, really hot. We've also managed <laughs> to uh, sort out a lot of this. We basically just give it a good old clean out. And the chickens now are nesting in here instead of in the old cow shed. They weren't none too amused about being moved, that's a fact. <laughs> but uh, it's kind of strange. My dad's got a really good way with the uh, chickens. Um, he can lift them up, take the eggs out. They won't attack him or do anything. And uh, he picked one up, put it on the side, and then took all the eggs out, moved them, and then put the chicken back in, happy as Larry. And of course, um, our new uh, little maggot farm there. I'm really hoping that's going to uh, take off. We'll see if we got to... Uh, oh. We just had a fly come out of there. So yeah, we put all sorts of bits and pieces in there, smelly fish, an old rotten egg. 
That'll do it. We've got flies around it, look. Oh yeah. That's the first time in my life I've been glad to see flies. <laughs> but yeah, fantastic. If that works, it's gonna be uh, really cool. Again, if it does, we'll see how it goes. And uh, if it produces, then what I'll do is I'll create a few more of those. They're so easy to make. They really are. Just a couple of bins, a few holes, and that's it. It's so easy. And it'll cut down the cost of uh, fish food. You know, maggots are high in protein like any other type of grub. So uh, yeah, it'll make the fish nice and plump as well. You okay? <laughs> Gonna take it easy now. Well, we've just finished lunch and it was lovely. Absolutely lovely. Got some sticky rice there. And uh, we had a tin of uh, mackerel in tomato sauce, some vegetables, and of course some uh, bugs. I highly recommend the uh, crickets. They are particularly good. Must have been a good year. <laughs> really difficult to say what they taste like um hmm pork but they are very very good very tasty again packed with protein you know bugs it's so good for you as i said before the only ones i won't eat are the uh, grubs they're just too mushy but um yeah everything else quite happy with As you can see, Pi's not shy when it comes to the bugs. <laughs> She's quite happy, munching away. We did have some duck eggs as well, boiled duck eggs, but we ate all them. Um, again, you know, eating like this, when you're eating out in the open, it makes you hungry anyway. And of course, when you've done a fair amount of graft on the farm, it makes you extremely hungry. It's just a lovely way to eat, it really is. Nothing like a picnic. Well guys, time is getting on and uh, soon I'll have to head back to the house and start editing this video for today for you. Um, Pi and I have still got lots to do on the farm, so hopefully I'll get back to the farm later and help feed the animals. Uh, Mum and Dad's going to stay with Pi and give a little bit of a hand. So that's about it all from Pi and I today and uh, whatever you do, have a fantastic day and stay safe and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now guys.